WICR, rocking the campus in New Rochelle. What's up, guys? And we're back. So, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the music if you are watching live. Um, but yeah, so next topics we are going to jump into. Usually we talk about the leagues and all that, but today we're going to talk about FIFA 16. The video game just came out yesterday. I'm excited. haven't picked up a copy yet, but I've seen plays of it. It looks fantastic. Walsh. Are you excited just as I am? Oh, actually, I mean, I'm a yeah, I'm a big FIFA player. I actually have the game already, just to uh, <laughs> to Beautiful. show you how uh, how much I really do enjoy the game. It's um, I would tell you, it is a very very different game. They have made a lot of changes. They really try to uh, anyone who's played FIFA knows that it's all about pace. Normally, you know, the faster player wins. Um, they've kind of they've kind of done a good job though to change that around, make things more about the talent of a player. Let alone, let alone just how uh, pacey he can be, but there, there's. It seems to be a bit more realistic, but it's in a way it's a, m a little more frustratingly mm -hmm. realistic. Like, for for example, if your back is turned towards the player that you're passing to because you're trying to clear it, right? You're in, but you, they're probably gonna. It's probably gonna bounce off an offensive player and it's gonna create a turnover. You have to actually play smart. Right. It, it, it's it's now a video game that's really going to be in favor of people who can play smart, calm type of uh, soccer and actually watch and feel out the game. It's much more realistic in how soccer is played traditionally right. than alone in just a video game. Yeah, and uh, also with that in mind, um, you know, there's just, you know... With that, also, you know, if you're not, you know, a frequent FIFA player and you just picked up the copy, they actually have, like, these new uh, settings where, like, you know, in the game, they will actually assist you on how to make a play. Like, you know, how to make a good play. You know, if, you know, if you need to make a pass or, or, or a long shot or whatever, it'll assist you during the game, which I think is pretty, pretty good for those who have, like, never played the game. But also with that, I think, you know... It could be annoying for the for the people you know who have been playing every year for the new FIFA games. Yeah, you know it's uh, it, it is a little frustrating because you know you got all these new things coming in. Um, yeah, you know they should have focused you know more on you know, I guess like the I guess the connectivity of you know of online and all that stuff. But you know, it, it's it's cool because you know if you get more people to come and play, then you know we'll have way more people than there actually is right now but also you know with the new features there's also this year first time ever on the cover of fifa is are the women's uh soccer team um alex morgan who is on the cover with Lionel messi which is the first time ever for any you know women's soccer player or team and you know there's actually women's uh teams on fifa 16 now which is also the first time ever i think that's fantastic I mean, it, it, it. I think it's 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 phenomenal just to watch the game grow, um, and it, in all honesty, it, it's a good feeling because, in regards to the sport of soccer, USA is always behind the eight ball. Yeah, I will confidently say that USA women's soccer is responsible for women players being in FIFA. Oh no, yeah, for if sure. If it was not for the World Cup run for people with the star power of MB Wambach and Alex Morgan. Mm -hmm. If it was not for that, and the Hope Solo too, if it was not for that, I still don't think that they would be in there. Yeah, and for sure, I mean, you know, like, like you said, those three key players made soccer for women what it is today. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll go back to, you know, I don't know how many years ago with Mia Hamm, who, you know, you know, kind of started it for, for women's soccer. You know, she she was like you know the first great women soccer player you know to play the game for women's, and then you know gradually with you know the players nowadays I guess they looked up to her you know made it into something bigger that you know all women you know <coughs> around the world that can can actually play, and you know being part of you know the soccer uh, FIFA games, it's incredible I I think you know them being on it on the game now is you know it it's, it's just great for everyone because you know now you know we're not limited to you know just the men's players now we have the women players and you know i think it's interesting that you know that they added it it kind of 
kind of terrible that they took this long to do it, but I guess in a way they kind of had to prove themselves that they're worthy, I guess, of the game. I just think it has to do, it has to do with the, the fans and what people are wanting in all honesty. I'm just, you know, I, I, with all with all due respect, I just don't think anyone was dying to play with the women's teams because I don't know if the, the star power was not necessarily there. And sometimes that, I mean, star power can can just brings in so many people. It, it's you see it in all sports. Uh, the Cleveland Browns become an exciting football team if Johnny Manziel is the quarterback. Yeah. But if it's Josh McCown, nobody wants to see the Cleveland Browns. Uh, in regards to to you know women's soccer, when Meehan retired and there was no Alex Morgan or Hope Solo or, or players like, like it's just it didn't have that same excitement and and also for the fact that women's soccer is only relevant w- once every four years because I, I mean I know they have their leagues but they're never I mean they're never covered they're never spoke about that is, I, yeah. I, I couldn't tell you what team Alex Morgan or Carly Lloyd or Megan Rampone play for I, I just can't I, I'm just but you know, right now Manchester United has a game today in one tournament, and they have a game on Saturday, and then next week they're going to have another game in the Champions League. That's three different leagues, three different tournaments where they're they're playing in, and makes all their players just so constantly. Where I mean, I, and all those games will be televised. You can watch all those games. I, I don't know if there's ever been a women's league soccer game ever televised. I, I'm not sure. I, I'm just saying. But but what's happened is they're they're generating some star power, some some the ability to get recognized, and now they are, you know, getting that recognition, and they're being added into a FIFA game. Now, in all honesty, I doubt they're in FIFA 17 because it's just really the international teams. Right, right. But they'll probably come back again for I guess would be FIFA 20. Well. You know, with that being said, you know, uh, it's just like you said, it, it's hard to tell, you know, where those women have played unless you actually look it up online. And like you said, it, it it's kind of like, you know, it's bad that, you know, that they don't broadcast it or whatever, because I think they all should get a chance. Honestly, they are great players. I mean, look at uh, look at Carly Lloyd. She she had a hat trick in the World Cup. And who would have thought Carly Lloyd would be the one to, you know, to be the the star player in the final? No one would have thought that. He probably would have, probably people would have assumed they would have been like Andy Wombat or uh, Alex Morgan. But you rarely Alex Morgan really didn't touch the ball that much in the World Cup. So you know, like Carly Lloyd, you know, it's it's just it's just the progression just needs to happen. Like you know, like you said, the fan base and all that. Yeah, you know, if they take out the women's team next FIFA game. There might be like a lot of com- uh, a lot of um, you know complaints and all that, because you know you, you you can't just throw them in one year and then you know take them out the next year. That's it's terrible. It's like it's like saying like oh you only did this because because they won the World Cup this past year and you're only gonna put it because you know just to make money out of it, which is just terrible. I mean, I, I I mean it look at the end of the day it's still a business and it, and. And I don't think necessarily the state of women's soccer is, at, is in the position to complain about any recognition. I, I think it's awesome, but I just think that to it, it, the the international team is where women's soccer makes its its you know its its name, and the World Cup obviously is where that happens the most. So I I think that like I said, I think it'll be more likely for them to not be in the game but I think that this is it's going to it's a historic moment because what it'll do is it'll inspire the next generation and I do believe that there will be a day where there is a woman's player putting up numbers of such enormous proportion that she will be constantly talked about and I mean constantly where it, it's it she's it, it's Oh wait! You see her on ESPN. It's it, it'll be similar to the Ronda Rousey effect. Yeah, yeah. Where Ronda has now, as a woman, started to dominate at such a high level that ESPN is actually paying attention to the sport of MMA. Yeah. Um. If if you grab the attention of ESPN, that 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 means everyone's watching, and I think that there will be a a, a, pl- a player within the next twenty some odd years who gets the attention of 
the world through her her talent i think that she is going to be inspired by the players that you're actually seeing right now featured into this fifa i think that that is and i think that that is is the bright side of thing i think it's great they're included in that, and i think it's awesome yeah um yeah i mean you know just you hit it everything but uh you know i mean for right now you know just enjoy the, you know that the women are on the team you know we'll enjoy that and then you know like you said, we'll just see how, you know, the fan base and all that goes on throughout the year. Hopefully they stay on, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like you said, you know, it is a business. They're, they're, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it really is all about if they like it or not. So, yeah. But also, with FIFA 16, guys, you know, there's been other FIFAs, you know, the past year, clearly, because this is FIFA 2016. And uh, in my opinion, you know, I've looked at it every year. It's just a whole new different features like like that new uh those mini games like like now they actually have like really basic mini games where it's like you know learn how to move and whatnot and you know going back to i don't know fifa i guess like 13 or so that they didn't have that like they didn't have those basic stuff it's like you know they just throw you in there and you play uh, i think it's cool just to swatch it's crazy how big of a video game FIFA is. It's 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 its own entity. It's amazing, and it's 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 awesome to watch it grow. I think that not always, but I, I do think the people at EA listen to the fans somewhat, and and they try to incorporate their wants into into a video game. And I think that they've done that. I think that's obvious with the women's team. I think that's obvious in regards to getting the Liga de Brazil back because in FIFA 15 they didn't have that, but they were able to get a lot, a good portion of the teams back into the into the game. Um, so so for really all those things, I, I think it's 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 pretty cool. Uh, I I think it, it it's it's just awesome to watch the video game grow. It's it's exciting to to be able to play again. Um, you know, their ultimate team, too. If, if you're an ultimate team player, is back. Ultimate team is always fun. There's a plenty of ratings that they messed up that makes it very frustrating that I don't agree with. But it, at the end of the day, FIFA, the, the video game, is just, it, it's a it's a powerhouse, and it's a fun game. And, I mean, I'm, you know, after the show, I'll probably go back and play a game or two anyway. So, um, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Glad, glad to see it back, ready to play some more. Yeah. And, uh, you know, also everyone... Who uh who hasn't really played FIFA? If you look at the first FIFA, I think it was FIFA '98 or something like that. From then to now, it has progressed. You know, graphics-wise, style of playing, features, it has progressed way like so much. Where it's it's just crazy on how much it has uh it has grown. Like Walsh said, you know, um going back to like FIFA '98, everything was. Like even the players, everything was so pixelated. Um, I, I think the only thing you could you could have played in FIFA '98 were the international teams. Uh, I think, and uh, the only cool, I guess the only cool thing I guess you would say that in like that old game you could play either an outdoor stadium or an indoor <laughs> stadium, which I thought yeah. I think they should bring that back. To be honest, to with uh, to be honest with you guys, um, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to play in an indoor stadium? You know, change it up for a while from an outdoor stadium. But um, but yeah, then like you know, going to FIFA, I think oh eight or so, that's when they brought in the celebrations for the first time. Like you being able to choose a celebration, it's not like you know where FIFA I think fourteen or fifteen where they let you you know uh, choose a celebration without you know having you know the celebration uh, choice on the screen. So you know, I think like all that you know that's just crazy. You know how. All that's progressed, and you know the graphics are just amazing. Like, have, have you noticed the graphics? Like, they look better. Even no, they, they even really, in the crowd, right? They just no, every, just all around. Like, just how the players look on the pitch, it just, it really does look better. They've, I give them credit. They took the time out to try to improve the game, and I think that they have improved the game. Yeah. So with that said, you know everyone, pick up a copy of FIFA 16. Um, you know, play against your friends. It's honestly a great video game, to be honest with you. Really is, uh, you know, and even give out give out the women's uh, women's team a try. See how you like it. But uh, yeah, you know, let's jump into Iona Iona news real quick. Um, today men's soccer take on Yale University at four thirty on the Zella. It's gonna be a good game. Uh, it's the last game before conference play starts this Saturday, um, yeah. which is which is a big big deal. 
just try to get uh, you know everything fine tooled, get ready to go. Because once MAC play starts, can't, no slip ups. You got you got to be ready. You got to win every game or get points in every game. You got to do what you can. So we'll we'll uh, hopefully the boys come out look good today and then get ready for Saturday. Yeah, and you know as Wall said, you know they have a game on Saturday too. Um, they take on Niagara uh, University on Mozilla Field also at 3 p.m. this Saturday. If you guys aren't doing anything, come out, support the team. You know, like I said, conference game, no slip-ups. You know, they got to be 110% with their game on that field. So, you know, come out, support the team. And, uh, you know, tomorrow night, meet the Greeks th uh, at 9.30 at Heinz Center. You know, if you're interested in joining Greek life. Um, I own admission applications are due this Friday at the Office of Mission and Ministry at 5. So, you know, if you're interested in going on a mission trip, uh, get your applications in. I went one last year. Fantastic. Highly recommended for everyone. And lastly... Men's Rugby take on St. Bonaventure's this Saturday at St. Bonaventure's uh, home turf. Um, good game, good teams. Uh, you know, it's going to be a good matchup. You know, look out for the Twitter. You know, they'll be uh, updating with the scores. So, you know, take a look at that, guys. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, come out to every, to every uh, event. You know, support everyone. And, yeah, you know, have fun with it, guys. But, all right, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to go into some music. And uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 